How to make a good connection with your job interviewer. There's a lot that determines your success in an interview, from how you answer questions to the questions you ask, from your resume to your timeliness and manners. If you fail to connect with your interviewers during the interview, they might assume that you may not interact well with other coworkers if you were hired, so it's important to make a good impression. One of the most important things to do during an interview is to build a connection with the person you are interviewing with. A strong relationship between you and the interviewer can help you stand out as the better candidate when your skills and experience are similar to other candidates. Building rapport during your interview is crucial because it leaves the interviewer with a positive impression of improving your chances of receiving a job offer. In addition, when you make a good connection, it can help you stand out as a better candidate than others who have similar or better skills and experience. It also gives the interviewer confidence that you will fit in well with their work environment and culture, making you the right candidate for their company. Before the interview, research the company and your interviewers, and practice your answers to common interview questions. You'll find free interview practice tests available online. Use the STAR method, situation, task, action, and result to quickly communicate who you are and what you will bring to the company. Be prepared with examples of your work that show you can do the job well. Prepare to be asked about times in the past when you used a specific skill and use the STAR method for storyteller skills. A storyteller can explain in a convincing way how an event took place. Recruit a friend to practice answering questions out loud. Have your friend ask you questions and listen to your answers' words, vocabulary, and tone. Your interviewers may request a list of references from you. Having a reference list ready ahead of time can help you complete this step quickly so you can move forward in the hiring process. Prepare intelligent interview questions for your interviewers. Employers expect you to ask questions because they want to know that you're seriously considering working there. So take the time to consider your questions ahead of time. Here are some questions you might want to ask your interviewers. Can you describe some of the day-to-day -day responsibilities of this position? How would you characterize someone who would be successful in this role? How would my performance be evaluated if I were in this position? How frequently? What departments do this team collaborate with on a regular basis? How do these departments usually work together? What is the procedure for work in the field? What are the current challenges that are facing this role? You can be successful during the interview by practicing these tips. First, plan your interview attire the night before. Take copies of your resume on clean paper in case of multiple interviewers or if you would like to take notes. Highlight specific accomplishments on your manuscript that you can easily refer to and discuss. Map out your route to the interview location so you can be sure to arrive on time. Treat everyone you encounter with respect and courtesy, especially if you find yourself waiting. Take a deep breath and exhale slowly before the interview to manage feelings of anxiety and encourage self-confidence. A good handshake should be firm but not crush other people's fingers. Being genuine during interview conversations can help employers easily relate to you. Focus on your key strengths and why your background makes you uniquely qualified for the position. Find out how employers make decisions by asking them standalone questions during the interview. Good manners and body language should be practiced. From the moment you walk into the building, use confidence and approachable body language. For example, sit or stand up straight, shoulders back. Take a deep breath and exhale slowly before the interview to reduce anxiety and boost self-confidence. Then, look the person in the eyes and smile with a handshake. Imitating certain behaviors and attitudes of your interviewer can help make a fast connection between you and the stranger on the other side of the table, it's called mirroring, and it works. Respond truthfully to the questions posed. While it may be tempting to exaggerate your skills and accomplishments, Interviewers find honesty refreshing and respectable. Concentrate on your key strengths and why your background makes you uniquely qualified for the position. When you're nervously trying to get on your interviewer's good side, it's easy to fall into a question-answer-question-answer -answer routine. 
The interviewer asks you a question, you answer, and then you sit back and anxiously wait for the next, like a please hold all questions until the end announcement was made before you sat down. But to create a more genuine connection with your interviewer, it's helpful to interject relevant questions throughout the conversation instead of saving them all for the wrap-up. For example, say the interviewer asks you to talk about your most significant accomplishment at your last job. After you speak to the time you snagged your previous company's largest client to date, continue with a question that moves the conversation along, like I'd be excited to start making significant contributions here, as well, what are some of your company's current goals or projects? You'll spark a little back and forth conversation, which will not only help you learn more about the company but will also prove to the interviewer that you're genuinely interested in the position. Overall, you'll bring a little life into what can often be a very formal, on your best behavior kind of interaction. Once you start asking questions, you'll have another powerful tool in your hands, because when you start listening to your interviewer's responses, you can determine what kind of answers they are looking for. Keep your responses brief and to the point. Your time with each interviewer is limited, so don't ramble. However, preparing your answers ahead of time can help you stay focused. Do not speak negatively about your previous employers. Companies want problem solvers who can overcome adversity. So instead, if you're dissatisfied with your current job, talk about what you've learned from it and what you want to do next. After the interview, give yourself the best chances of moving forward by asking for information about the next steps. Show your interest in the process. Following your interview, you should ask your interviewer, hiring manager, or recruiter what you should expect next. This will most likely be a follow-up email with interview results, additional requirements such as an assignment or reference list, or another interview. After the interview, send a personalized thank you letter. Also, you can request the business card of each person you speak with during the interview process so you can follow up with a separate thank you email. Use the notes you took during the conversations to ensure that each email is distinct from the others. Don't forget to make a personal connection with the interviewer. In addition to indicating your knowledge of the company, you should make an effort to connect with your interviewer. Mention something about the company that you genuinely find interesting and ask a question about it. Know the name of the interviewer and use it during the job interview. If you are unsure of the interviewer's name, call ahead of time and inquire. Also, pay close attention during introductions. A little effort on your part to remember the names of those you meet will go a long way. How to build rapport during a job interview. Though it's always important to be polite and professional, establishing a rapport with your interviewer is also key to success. If an interviewer feels an affinity for you as a person, they are more likely to feel optimistic about hiring you as an employee. People tend to hire candidates they like and who seem to fit their culture well, even if their qualifications aren't as strong. But, unfortunately, the first impressions are often the last. After all, employers look for candidates who interact effectively with coworkers, clients, and supervisors, and of course, everyone wants to work in a pleasant environment. In summary, remember, prepare for the interview in advance. Remain calm and confident. Make an excellent first impression. Show interest in the interviewer. Be aware of your body language. Ask the interviewer questions. Use active listening skills. Follow up after the interview. Sparking an instant connection with a complete stranger may never be easy, but when you learn to observe and adapt, you and your interviewer will feel more comfortable and you'll have an easier time opening up. And it can mean the difference between tolerating a mediocre interview and landing your dream job.